4020, supporting England right through to the Rugby League World Cup 2013. Yeah, it's a you know pretty different place. Uh, you know, real good experience coming over here. It's probably one of the places I never thought I'd ever come with. You know, rugby tour. Obviously, rugby league's not a big thing over here. Um, I know, really enjoyed it. You know, the facilities are, are top notch, and yeah, it's uh, it's been a great camp so far. To represent your country at any level is is brilliant, and uh, this is the highest level you can do it at. So uh, I'm really proud and honoured to be picked and to come to South Africa with all the lads. And uh, yeah, I just really enjoying my time at the moment. You know, it is pretty intense. Obviously the you know the, the players we've got about, and obviously all top players from top clubs. So, yeah, the, the training is pretty intense. Um, obviously, the, the altitude it gets you, gets you blowing that little bit more. But no, it's been good fun. And where does where does England uh, register in your um, objectives at the moment? You've achieved quite a lot at Warrington this year, Challenge Cup winner, Grand Finalist. You know, where, what do you want to achieve with England? Um, obviously, you, you just growing up. You, you know, you want to get that first cap under your belt. You know, obviously. I think it's probably everyone's dream to to represent the country, and you know I've got so far I'm in the I think 23, 24 man squad, and obviously the next step is getting in the 17 for one of the games, hopefully. And what's your thoughts on you know France and Wales? A lot of people are saying that you know these internationals are going to be a foregone conclusion for England with not playing Australia and New Zealand this year. You know, you know what are your thoughts on those two games that are coming up? Yeah, they're going to be tough games. Any international game is going to be tough. Um, you represent your country, so you don't you don't want to be a letdown, really. So Wales and France are going to be a tough game. For instance, Catalans, um, they went really well in the Super League. I think there's 14 players in the France team um, from from the Super League team, and you know that that's that's just evidence for how good France are going to be. Um, Wales again, uh, there's a couple of boys who've gone to Wigan this year, really, really shone uh, really well. So yeah, by no means it's going to be easy. Um, it's just good preparation for us and for them as well. So it's going to be a tough little series at the end of the year, but one that all the boys looking forward to when we get back to England. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily just need to turn up. Obviously, you know we're pretty confident that we can get get the wins. But you know France are a quality side, and I think you know Wales have been you know getting better as a nation for the past couple of years, and I think you know they're attracting you know new players from Super League and you know playing out there in in the Aussie comp as well. They're getting new players all the time, so I think they're getting stronger. So you know I think there'll be you know two real good. T- uh, Tough test for us, and you know, obviously, one we're looking, you know, we're looking at winning both games, but you know, we're going to find it, you know, a tough test. Yeah, definitely. We don't want to, to go out there and uh, make it a, a tough competition. We want to really put a stamp on things and uh, really show show the world what we were about this year. And we're going to do all that by um, doing this in this competition this year. And hopefully, that can uh, give us a really kick up the backside for, for next year against Australia, New Zealand, and Wales when it comes to it. So yeah, it's, it's stepping stones, but it's no means it's, it's going to be easy. So it's a really tough uh, end of the year for us. So we need to focus and really train hard and really get that out of the way, and then it's on. Preparation kind of starts here, you know. Obviously, that's that's the reason we've come out here, and like I say, it's about preparing for a competition. And you know, we're all just gonna, you know, so far we've knuckled down for the first week, and you know, we've ripped into training pretty hard. And obviously, we've got a few more days out here, so you know, the the more intense we can get it, the better preparation it is for us. It, it's similar in some ways, but it's it's, it's more professionalism. Everyone's uh, at the higher rank. Everyone knows what what the job what the job is and what to do. Um, but it's, it's like that in the clubs anyway. But England, it's it's pick of the bunch, isn't it? Everyone together, um, everyone's trying to fight for that position, and everyone's fighting for the position, which means you have got to work hard, you got to got to get better. So that's only going to be good for England in the future. So if everyone can fight for positions and um, get better, then yeah, it's going to be good for England. And do you thrive on that competition for places? I mean, you look at, let's say, the fullback role. You've got Sam, who's obviously out at the moment. He's hoping to be back for the, the first couple of games, and Zach and yourself. I mean, do you thrive on stuff like that when you when you're up against somebody like Zach? 
I think you've got to do. I think it's the same at club level. You know, the the squad you've got and, and the squad we've got here. It's you know, if someone in a, in a in a similar position to you does something good, you know, you, you want to do something better. So, you know, you, you definitely try and you know step the quality of your own you know training performances up. And you know, I think if everybody steps the performances up, it it only benefits the squad and you know leads us on into into better better intensity in training. Forty Twenty Magazine is your next generation rugby league monthly. From Bartley to Belgrade, Barrow to Brisbane, Swinton to Sydney, 4020 is packed with high quality articles by the best known names in the game. 4020 is on sale the 13th day of every month. Or subscribe by calling 0113 225 97 97 or at scratchingshedpublishing.com. 4020, the alternative voice of rugby league. iPhone and iPad app edition also available.